Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat, and we're finally on the Xbox One after all this time. Um, this is, well, this is actually the second video of the Xbox One menu I am actually making. Um, the first video that I actually was doing, um, I was showing off the actual Kinect camera, but I'm guessing when you're, when you've got the Kinect on and it's looking at you, um, and you're actually recording with the Elgato, it's it's not, it doesn't actually sync up and I'll show you exactly what I mean so if I uh, if I go to my settings um, I'll just want to show you what I mean and I'll show you the connect um, as you can see there I am I'm on the TV but it's not actually in sync when this video is showing in a minute it's not actually in sync it's like a couple of seconds ahead or behind so i was actually just basically showing you that hello this is me on the brand new connect um and that's basically what i wanted to show you but um this is the brand new xbox one menu um as you can see it's very much windows 8 <laughs> Um, I've already started downloading a couple of games. Xbox, go to my games. You know, as soon as I start recording, it starts being temperamental. Xbox, show my games. Xbox, go to my games. There we go. Just got to find the right actual thing for it. Um, so f FIFA, uh, we've got FIFA downloading. Um, we got the actual, obviously FIFA is, um, come pre-installed, but, well, it's not pre-installed with the game. We actually got a code to download FIFA with, uh, with my day one edition of the Xbox One. And uh, we've also started, well, we've also bought Killer Instinct. Uh, Killer Instinct is actually free, but I think you only get one character then. So I have bought the, ul the Ultra Edition add-on, which unlocks the whole game. Um, and we've also got a couple of apps as well, YouTube, obviously, Netflix and Skype. It's interesting that you actually have to download um, the software to use the Xbox One as a Blu-ray player. I find that very, very interesting. Um, why you can't just use it straight away is beyond me. Uh, but this is basically your little personalised area. You can go to your avatar, your friends, see your messages, different activity. Look at your game DVR, which is basically uh, clips that you've recorded. Um, begin a party, go to the store, and obviously your achievements. Um, the voice control, the Kinect voice control is quite temperamental at the moment. When I first started using it, um, as you can see, I've got my Xbox One. Um, special edition achievement um, when I first started using the voice control it was um, it was working great and then all of a sudden it just started to be quite temperamental you know getting the actual um, commands right like Xbox go home it doesn't always hear even though like I'm right next to the connect Xbox go home see so for some reason it doesn't always hear. Xbox, go home. But then other times it's dead snappy. So it's really quite weird. Xbox. See, hear me then. Go to my friends. Xbox, go to my friends. I think it's my accent a lot of the time. Xbox, go home. Xbox, Go to settings. Xbox, go home. Xbox, go to my games. Xbox, Bing. Xbox, go home. See? So, you know, I'm randomly just signs me out so i don't know what all that was about so as you can see you know it can be quite temperamental but when it does work it really works you know and it's a great feature to be able to just say things without having to sift through all them menus because there is a lot of menus you know so when it works it works uh we could can actually launch fifa right now but obviously um you launch it and like i think you can play a quick demo um 
whilst the rest of the game installs, but I'm not going to bother with that right at this minute. Um, I've not actually started playing any games yet, just because I've been messing around with the menu, getting used to everything. Um, I'll just go to my profile here. Basically, you get an activity feed, an activity feed of what all your friends have been up to. Um, as you can see, Elder Geek has been playing Killer Instinct. Sir Toby, Sir Toby Larone has unlocked the Day One Edition um, achievement, and obviously, it also shows you what people are doing on the 360 as well. So, it's not just your Xbox One friends that you actually get to interact with. You can actually interact with Xbox 360 people and see what they're doing which is pretty neat. Uh, you've got your favourites um, and your parties as well, if you're in any parties. So basically, you know, all my friends, these are my friends, um, people who were on the 360. Um, I'll send, see if I can send Mittens a message. Not that it'll be very asked, uh, but we'll just see what he, see if we can, if we can actually send him a message, actually, let's see. Um, sending this. It's from an Xbox One. Hold on, sending this from the Xbox One. To see if it works. To See if it works. Now, if I know Mittens, if he does see it and he does decide to reply, it'll be some really sarcastic nonsense. That's just how he is. But at least you can actually send messages to people who are on um, the 360. So that's really good because obviously not everyone, not everyone on my friends list is probably gonna have a have an Xbox One on day one, you know, so that's a really nice uh, feature. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not you can actually have party chat though with people like who are on a 360, that'd be great. Xbox, go home. Ah, message from Mittens. Let's see. Let's read. It does. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. Alright, so that actually does work then. So, yeah, that is pretty good. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do, guys, I just wanted to give you a little overview of the menu. We are going on 10 minutes now. Uh, we're still waiting for FIFA 14 to download. So, obviously, I'm still working out the kinks of everything of how the actual menus work and obviously the connect voice chat and all the rest of it uh, if i find out anything sort of interesting then i will let you know um make a couple of more videos i don't like how every time i'm pressing the well one of the things that's annoying is that every time i'm pressing back it's going through literally everything um i can but then again that's just me pressing back like you would normally if uh, you press the actual xbox button it will take you straight back to the home menu. So that's just something, again, I need to actually get used to. Um, but yeah, that's it from me, guys. Um, Xbox, go to settings. That worked first time. Xbox, stop listening. There we go. So that's it from me, guys. I know this isn't in sync, but I just want to say, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and look out for the rest of my Xbox One videos coming up shortly. I'm your boy Scatino and I'm out.